So into the most glamorous quarter-final across Europe tonight steps Mickey Hazard to start a senior game for Tottenham for the first time for three months. Hazard lines up alongside Glenn Hoddle in midfield, with Gary Stevens switching to the centre of defence for the suspended Graham Roberts. But there is compensation for the loss of one stern competitor in the return of another, the fit again Tony Galvin. Defender Camacho, Gallego in midfield, and Butragueño in attack played for Spain against Scotland a week ago. Uli Stilica, the West German international, provides much of the steel for Real, while Valdano is the second highest scorer in Spain behind Steve Archibald. And 37-year-old goalkeeper Miguel Ankel is recalled for his experience, which includes Real's last competitive visit to England in 1975, when Derby County put four goals past him. Tonight's referee is Paolo Cazarin from Italy, who took charge of Tottenham's win here over Hajduk Split in last year's semi-final second leg in the UEFA Cup. Real are a football institution, but they're in need of some refurbishing. They've won only one of their last 11 league games. Tonight they play in a strip of all-violet, Tottenham where the all-white originally made so popular by Real Madrid's success wearing it in the early European Cups in the 50s. And here's Gary Stevens. One question for Tottenham is how will Hoddle and Hazard link up in midfield? To some extent, it's an embarrassment of creative riches. And Mickey Hazard is the first to admit but at times he feels overshadowed by Hoddle. Stevens and Putragueño, Tottenham's throw. Chidozi, limited in terms of European experience compared to his teammates. Hoddle with the free kick. And the referee blows presumably for some pushing by Falco. So Miguel Ankel, who's been out of the league side, Recent matches for Real. It was Spain's reserve goalkeeper in the last World Cup finals. Hazard winning it strongly from Gallego. Has Palco to his left. But Hazard needs help. What an encouraging effort. No signs of being under Hoddle's shadow then. He was prepared to make things happen himself from midfield was Mike Hazard but the shot just passed wide Sanchez Perriman doing the blocking Marcho who played his 57th international against Scotland a week ago a measure of his Qualities. Free kick given against Valdano. Miller. Here's Stevens. Forward run from midfield by Hazard. Galvin. And the goalkeeper only just with Brooks lurking with some intent. It's an almost casual catch. Has it. Chris Hutton, who has a knack of contributing useful goals on European nights. Well forward. Brought away by Chendo. With Regenio. Valdano 
waiting at the far post, and Butragueno, who's a real threat, and is in an own goal off Perriman. Real Madrid have an away goal here at White Hart Lane, and a sloppy one from Tottenham's viewpoint. Clements trying to restore some order and concentration. Butragueno got away. And Perriman, it seemed, had the final touch, as Clements may well have diverted the ball onto him. And the goal after 14 and a half minutes. And a blow to Tottenham's morale. And Hoddle tries to strike back immediately. Valdano beyond Miller. Clements trying to narrow the angle and then retreated and did enough to put Valdano off. For well, whether or not he'll be credited with the first goal, he certainly should have had a second. He'd left Miller. The crowd urging Tottenham to knock the ball in quickly. That might not be the best policy. Hoddle. Archidozi. And Real got their offside tactics wrong then. Perriman. And good handling by Miguel Ankel. It was an intelligent cross from Steve Perriman. Played into the area behind defenders in front of the goalkeeper. Perriman again. Stilica, a stumbling block for Tottenham. Pattern continuing with Tottenham making the running, but conscious that Real have something of a, a punch on the counter attack. Good, good. Falco. And glance by Hoddle, only after some pushing. If anything, the Tottenham players got into the middle too quickly. And were rather static, jostling for positions when the cross finally arrived. Free kick against Hoddle. Stevens has gone a long way and keeps going. Stilica taking responsibility for stopping him. And now for a moment, Tottenham are a defender light as Gallego goes on. And Perriman <laughs> threatens his own goal again. But to be fair to him, he certainly had to make some contact because Real had Butragueno and Valdano looking to meet the cross from Gallego. Butragueno almost cut up the highest. Salguero with a chance to play it back. Butragueno! Clements would have known nothing about it had it been on target. He's so sharp. And even when surrounded by defenders, he makes that dart in front of the marker. And this time the header flash wide. Michel, round Hewton. Gallego. Stopped by Hoddle. The end of a first half which has brought problems for the UEFA Cup holders. 
particularly in the shape of the own goal by Steve Perriman in the 15th minute, created by the rising star of Spanish football, Emilio Butragueño. So Tottenham with one or two things to sort out in the dressing room with a half-time score. Tottenham Hotspur nil, Real Madrid one. Tottenham trailing Real Madrid by one goal to nil. Real, the last Spanish survivors in European competition this season. The other five clubs all went out in the first round. And the striking September of the Spanish players was blamed for interrupting training routines. an awkward bounce for both Stevens and Gallego. Hoddle. Tottenham just trying to find an extra gear. Hoddle. Hazard. And Galvin. The linesman is flagging. No goal. decision was given straight away but for once Tottenham did find the man free it was a very close thing indeed Brooks might have straight offside in the middle as Galvin went round the goalkeeper It's an intriguing match. Stevens. One back by Crooks. Hazard. But Real pressing Mickey Hazard in the end causing confusion Hoddle and Crooks who was brilliantly found by Hoddle Crooks fell but there was no foul and Butragueño at the other end when Tottenham felt they might have scored they were in danger of going two down. A little microcosm of the match, really, after Hoddle's delicious pass for Garth Crooks. And Crooks, perhaps his first touch let him down. Camacho. But there's an air of concern around White Hart Lane. With this vast Tottenham crowd being educated, really, in the forward skills of the likes of Butragueño and Valdano. With Gallego continuing to be a controlling influence in midfield. And Gallego almost added to Real's control. Paul Miller was left to defend against two attackers. A swirling free kick from Camacho. And Gallego in front of Miller with Salguero coming in behind him. Chendo is the defender. He's matched Tony Galvin for speed. Hughes. Out by Ankel, then Butragueño. Gallego crisply for Valdano, but not so crisp for Stilica. He's now caught forward. But no momentum from Tottenham. Their supporters still remain unfulfilled. Brook was rather fortunate past Butragueño. It hits Stilica. Hoddle, Falco. And it's squirmed away from Hazard. Oh, 
Mark Falco, who's been effective this season in a European context. And Hoddle fed him. The deflection in the end was cruel to Tottenham, and particularly Mickey Hazard. Galvin. And he's taking the wide way round. Helped out by Perriman. Brook. Crooks is offside. Flipped forward by Gary Brook, but the linesman was already flagging against Garth Crooks. Perriman did well to win it back. And Galvin was setting himself. Hoddle will set himself. If ever there was a frustrating moment. Real were drawn in numbers to defending on their left. Hoddle sent the space, but the volley was tantalizingly close. What have Tottenham got left? Galvin. And Stielica has been the superb organiser. And Michel for Gallego. Tottenham all over the place again. And again, grateful to Clements. Gallego's first touch actually widened the angle. And that chance came as we move into injury time. And it is indeed a historic night for a club which established really the dramas of European football. Thanks to Steve Perriman's own goal, Tottenham are beaten at home for the first time in European competition, and Real also celebrate their first competitive victory in England. The holders' grip on the UEFA Cup is considerably weakened, and it will need a masterful performance from Tottenham in Madrid to survive. They're beaten here at White Hart Lane, by Real Madrid by one goal to nil. Steve, it didn't really turn out the way it was planned. No, it didn't. It was a bit disappointing on the night. Um, we've had many great nights here at White Hart Lane, but uh, this wasn't to be one of them. Uh, I think the problem was that we gave the early goal away, and I think that gave them a lot of heart to play and gave them something to defend. So, uh, obviously, it's made it very difficult for us now. But... Um, you know, should we score first out there, then it's all levels. Well, let's look at that goal, which you had the final touch on. And it started, in fact, right at the other end of the field. Yes, that's right. And they did show a lot of skill coming forward. Yes, they're good passers of the ball, aren't they? They can all control it and play it, and uh, also run off the ball, as the lad did there. This is Butragenio. He ends up uh, going for the byline, crossing. Clem just gets a touch to it and unfortunately it hit my knee. If it had hit a softer part of my body then maybe it would have just dropped dead but uh, when it hits the knee it's a hard bone there and it flew in.